Hello, hello, Key Stage 1. Let's get ready to have some fun. I'm going to read a story today, The Enormous Crocodile, and may I say, he's quite nasty, he's quite mean, but I love Roald Dahl, that's why I'm keen to read it to you, and it might seem a little bit kooky, a little bit quirky, just sit back, relax, and let's start the story of The Enormous Crocodile by Roald Dahl. In the biggest, brownest, muddiest river in Africa, Two crocodiles lay with their heads just water. One of the crocodiles was enormous. The other was not so big. Do you know what I'd like for my lunch today? The enormous crocodile asked. No. The not so big one said, what? The enormous crocodile grinned, showing hundreds of white teeth. For my lunch today, he said, I would like a nice, juicy little child. I never eat children, the not-so-big one said. Only fish. Oh, 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 cried the enormous crocodile. I'll bet if you saw a fat, juicy little child paddling in the water over there at this very moment, you'd gulp him in one gollop. No, I wouldn't. The not so big one said. Children are too tough and chewy. They are tough and chewy and nasty and bitter. Tough and chewy? cried the enormous crocodile. Nasty and bitter? What awful Tommy rot you talk. They are juicy and yummy. They taste so bitter, the not so big one said. You have to cover them with sugar before you can eat them. Children are bigger than fish, said the enormous crocodile. You get your elpins. You are greedy, not so big one said. You are the greediest croc in the whole river. I'm the bravest croc in the whole river, said the enormous crocodile. I'm the only one who dares leave the water and go through the jungle to the town to look for little children to eat. You've only done that once, snorted the not so big one. And what happened then? They all saw you coming and ran away. Ah, oh, but today when I go, they won't see me at all, said the enormous crocodile. Of course they'll see you, the not so big one said. You're so enormous and ugly, they'll see you from miles away. The enormous crocodile grinned again, and his terrible sharp teeth sparkled like knives in the sun. Nobody will see me, he said. Because this time I've thought up a secret plans and clever tricks. Clever tricks? cried the not so big one. You've never done anything clever in your life. You're the stupidest crook in the whole river, if I do say so myself. I'm the cleverest crook on the whole river, the enormous crocodile answered. For my lunch today, I shall feast upon a fat, juicy little child while you lie here in the river feeling hungry. Good. Bye. The enormous crocodile swam to the side of the river and crawled out of the water. A gigantic creature was standing in the slimy, oozy mud on the river bank. It was Humpy Rumpy the hippopotamus. Hello, 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 said Humpy Rumpy. What on earth are you off to at this time of day? Where on earth, even? I have secret plans and clever tricks, said the crocodile. Oh dear, said Humpy Rumpy. I bet you're going to do something horrid. The enormous crocodile grinned at Humpy Rumpy and said, I'm going to fill my hungry empty tummy with something yummy, yummy, yummy. What's so yummy then? asked Humpy Rumpy. Try it, I guess, said the crocodile. It's something that walks on two legs. You don't mean, said Humpy Rumpy. You don't really mean you're going to eat a little child. Of course I am, said the crocodile. Oh, you horrid, greedy, grumptious brute called Humpy Rumpy. I hope you get caught and cooked and turned into crocodile soup. The enormous crocodile laughed out loud at Humpy Rumpy. Ha ha ha! And then he waddled off into the jungle. <laughs>